Welcome back, guys. I'm, I'm really in two minds at the moment as to whether I'm happy or not right now because I've just spent the last three hours. Oh, yeah. I've just spent the last three hours sorting this out and specifically, like most of the time, went into sorting this out. And I am very, very happy with what the, the result that I've come up with. But I'm like, God, I've suffered some pain in the last three hours. Uh, right, well, so what have I done? I've demolished all the buildings from these domes and these domes, first of all. So now, hopefully, I should, if I go over here, I should be able to, yes, get rid of these five domes. Hooray! And I'm so OCD that I actually got a mega dome and put it there. <laughs> so that so that the, the holes would look the same. God. And then over here. Oh my god. This is where I'm putting in some uh, some uh, some open farms. Yeah, open farms. Uh, let me grab the capital city. And and you can see that they line up quite nicely outside a couple of diamond domes. And I thought I think I, I thought I want something kind of in between. So yeah, I kind of like that. I I'm I would have kind of liked these two to be a little bit further out and these two to be a little bit further out, but um, with the positioning, I'm just a little bit tight for space. So, so it is what it is. And, and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. It should look kind of cool, hopefully. And then I've got it hooked up by tunnels up to here and then the center tunnel goes up to there to link into this hooray good news all right now i will point out our population is down to like 5.5k which is a little bit low so i think at this point i'm going to turn on births are no longer forbidden and we'll bump the population up a bit how about that sounds like a plan sounds like a plan to me so let's go oh my god now not only have i done that but um i've also sorted out the agrodomes and got them all running quinoa go away auto save God, it's taking so long to save now. Uh, that's running quinoa. That's running quinoa. And that's running quinoa. And these are going to produce uh, something like 200 food. Uh, just running quinoa. And that's going to be, and that's every two days. So they're producing about 100 food per day. Now, 100 food per day feeds about 500 people. Because it's one food feeds a person for five days. So 500 food, 500 people. Um... So yeah, so 500 people. So each one of these domes is about uh, 300 people. Yeah, it's going to be a bit, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more once I put some uh, some other domes in. Uh, talk of uh, domes, spires. Talking of spires, let's put some spires in. Um, I'm going to put in a couple of fuel refinery spires, which I think I'm going to put. I think I'm going to put one here and one over this side. And then the rest I'm going to fill in with arcologies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, this is so huge. All right, cool. Ho, 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 ho. And we start getting lots of flashing lights around the place, which is what we like. Awesome, cool. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do in here because the rest of the, the, I've just been spending so long getting this to like work. All right, let's um let's get these things actually working because they're not they're not doing a lot at the moment because I didn't put in any depots. So I'm going to put in uh, let's see depot there, depot there, and then similar thing depot there. And depot there, and I'm also going to put in some seed depots as well because we we're going to need seeds around here. So there, there, and there, and there. All right. So now we want to ramp this up to store 12, please, and don't bring food or rare metals. One thing I haven't done with these domes is put in uh, food depots. That's a good point. I think. How am I going to do this? I think I'm, I might do this like a little bit different. Oh, this dome's already getting built. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. 
Um, we've got like a we've got a bunch of space in here. Okay, uh, you know what? The first thing I should do probably is pipe these up, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's let's pipe them up, and then once my pipes are in place, then I can kind of see how I want things. So that hooks up to there. That oh come on, really? <laughs> oh no no no! I, I I was thinking I've screwed it up already. Like how can I screw it up already? Uh, it goes from there to there. And then this one is going to go from... I, do I run it? I think I might run it from there. Yeah, I'm going to run it from there, I think. Or do I just run it? Nah, let's just run it like that. Let's get rid of that one. So what do I want, V? Uh, just to just to there is fine. And the same, just to there. And just to there. And that one goes... Now, hang on a second. What is this... Why is this seeming? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. That goes there. I'm going crazy. I've been I've been staring at this for so long, and I've played around with several different designs or whatever. Now I do need to hook uh, this up, but I can hook that up with passages, and that'll be fine. So over here, need to do the same thing. So that goes into there. That goes into there. Um, there to there. There to there. And short run, uh, short run, and the full run there, and the full run there. All right, cool. Let's let that get going. And what I also need to do is now go around and cable all these. Oh, my God. This is always the thing. Why do I do things, like, on a big scale? Like, why don't I, why don't I just, like, build, like, a tiny little village and just leave it at that? I <laughs> mean... Why? Why do I put myself through this? Guess I blummin' like it. You know it. I know it. It is what it is. So, into there. Boom. I, there, there is... I, you know, I really didn't think it was going to take me as long as it is taking me to get this stuff done. But, holy... Like, when you kind of just throw in stuff in, like, fairly willy-nilly, then... You can get, kind of get a lot of stuff done like relatively quickly, but as soon as you start being precise about everything, oh my god, everything goes to hell in a handbasket. How do I want to do these tunnels? The thing is, I've got to be able to put uh, bridges over them. Now, do it. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is this. I think I'm going to run a passage. Like, if I run it, Uh, I think, I, uh, yeah, that, you know what, that might, uh, yeah, but that might be okay. You know, that's going to be fine. What the hell am I talking about? That's going to be fine. That'll be fine. And I just want the same on this side. I get, sometimes, sometimes I get too fussy about things. It's like, why am I being so fussy? You don't need to. Okay, so that's cool. That's cool. I should be able to get two passage ramps in there, which will satisfy my OCD, hopefully. Kind of depend. Yeah, no, I should be well clear of those. So, yeah, it should be fine. should be fine. First tunnel is in second. Oh, so we we're already hooked up to the water network and power network. That's blooming awesome. Okay, this is happening. <laughs> this is happening quite quickly. So, this is the thing. When you actually adequately plan... Things can things can actually like get put in relatively quickly. Sweet. All right, how are we doing over here? Okay, this is all good. How are we doing in here? Um, let's set this. I'm I want, I'm going to control click to make all of my f fuel refineries need engineers. I'm going to get them all hard working, and I'm going to do the amplifiers as well. Okay, and I control clicked all of that, so that should affect all of them. So that's awesome. How's this thing doing? Yeah, that's fine. That was the last one that I put in, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So that's fine. Good. How's food? We are up to, oh my God, we're up to 40K of food. <laughs> Which is because, obviously, I was down to like 5,500 people. Uh, we are growing like crazy. Oh, I've got to show you this. Look at the comfort in these domes. Uh, 75. 
This one, 75. This one, 75. So, comfort in these domes. Awesome. Working really, really well. What do you need? I mean, in theory, you need five metal, but you shouldn't need that because these scrubbers should take care of that. Are you, are you running? Yeah, they are. And, the, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Okay, so that's all working. Okay, those two are built. Those two are built. Passage is built. Passage over here is built and lit up. Oh, is this one actually built? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. Oh, it's this tunnel that isn't built yet. Is that like out of range of a drone hub or something? Uh, yeah, that's what it is. That's not in range of a drone hub. <laughs> okay, well, we need to put a drone hub in. Where can I put a drone hub? See, uh, what I'd like is to kind of tuck one in here somewhere, but it's not gonna blum and fit. Uh, but you know what? I can put one. I can put one over here, and that's fine. Boom. In you go. Uh, that's not going to get built. So let's grab a couple of drones and manually say, go and build that. Here they come. Uh, once they get here, I'm going to need some storage. Uh, let's put the storage on this side. Yeah. And am I going to do seeds? Yeah, go on. Do seeds as well. So what do I want? Uh, no food, no rare metals. And bump it up to 12. There we go. And here they come. All right, this should get built pretty darn quickly now with a bit of luck. All right, sweet. So, I, obviously, I've got to lay out some buildings in here. What I was thinking... Um, oh, hang on. There's um, there's no water in these domes. The reason there's no water in these domes is because I haven't done that and that. There we go. As soon as that gets built, then we'll have water in this dome. Hooray. Uh, assuming I've hooked it. Yeah, I've hooked that one up, so that's fine. You don't need to put cables in between these because they hook up automatically because they're touching. Alrighty, we are getting there. Let's give you let's give you a few more drones. Okay. Alright, so um so let's let's see about putting some, some buildings in here. I've no idea what layout I'm gonna do in here, so We'll just have to figure it out. So what I was thinking was, um, one, two, flip around, three, four, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight buildings. Uh, in here, we have 12 residential buildings. So I'm thinking eight seems kind of, sort of, like about the right number, and then we're going to want uh, we're going to want services. What are we going to want? We're going to want. I'm thinking if we put like a. Um, so if, I, if I was to put like one, two, three, four. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Um, actually. No, no, uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I was going to put four in, but I think. Let's see how many? How many have I got in here? So for twelve buildings, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, for eight, I should put in four ideally. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and you know what? Um, I might as well start reproducing this, mightn't I? Yep. One, two, three, four. And then infirmaries, I want two. Well, that's kind of convenient. We've got two slots there. One and two. So what does that leave me? Uh, I need to put groceries in. Oh, why have I put one there? That should be there. Need to put grocery stores in. And ideally, we want some recreation. Well, I think if we put one, two... Ah, that kind of doesn't work because of that. Ha. Huh. Um, oh, you know what? If I put one, two, like that, that would work. All right, get rid of you. Get rid of you. So if we do one, two. So one, two, and the same. Flip it around. One, two. 
Okay, that kind of works. Let's put the infirmaries in this one. So infirmary flip 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 infirmary. So we've got we've got shopping. So the only thing we need now is relaxation. So we can do that with uh, just a bunch of like small gardens. Now I could do something fancier, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Um, so I could just I could just fill in all the all the spaces with these. So uh, one, two, three there, one, two, three there, and one, two, three, four. And if I do decide to put in another dome, I can't, but I, there's no way I'm gonna put in another dome, so this is fine. So whatever connections I've already got is, that's it. Boom, boom, boom. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. And one, two, three. All right, sweet. So I put that going that side, that going that side. Okay, so all I want to do now, I, I think I might as well let this build because I think I'm quite happy with this. Uh, this has worked out kind of okay. So you go there, you go there. Three, four, two, three, one, two, three, four. And that does leave me potentially these four spots in the middle but i'm going to put a, i'm going to put a spire in and we'll we'll see if those still work i don't know whether they do so we want one two three four uh, one two three four flip you around one two three four and the same up here bosh 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 alrighty we're getting somewhere. And then, how quickly can I sling this together? What do I want? I want Cafe Marses. So we have one, two, three, four in there. And three, four in there. And then infirmaries. There and there. Flip. There. And there. Groceries. <laughs> I'm, you know, it's coming together. It's coming together. So we want, uh, it goes that way, doesn't it? So there, there, and, and it flipped around there, there. And there, there. All right, and then all I've got to do is throw in my small gardens, and we are done. One, two, three, four. One, two, three on that side. Two, three on that side. I'm going to be interested to see what the comfort's like in here. Because I think it should be at least as good as the as the Mega Domes. Uh, yeah, it's all done. So just this last one to do. Uh, one, two, three on there. Those. And bush, bush, bush. Bush and sling those puppies in oh one more there we go hooray oh and we are oh look look it looks like a blubbered spider or something look, look it's got all the spidery legs going oh I, I love the fact it's synchronized how freaking cool is that oh okay three hours well spent oh that is awesome sauce it will take a little bit of time because because I had to do some plumbing flattening and whatever. Um, it's going to take a while to fill this in, but you know what? With some rains and stuff, it's it's going to be fine. We have a food shortage. There's a colonist starving because there's a colonist moved in here, and I haven't put in any food uh, depots, have I? No, I haven't because I was going to think about how I did that. Let's put in some food depots so that we get some food. Uh, I think that would be generally regarded as a good thing. So I want to leave a space like coming out the door. But other than that, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't have a couple there. And a couple, like maybe even three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we go over to the other side. And do one, two, three. 
One, two, three. Cut the, I mean, there's going to be a fair amount of food coming off here. It's going to need to be distributed around the place. So, yeah, I think, I think that kind of works. So, uh, leave the entrance free. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Flip the puppy around. Uh, where's the actual entrance? That's the entrance, isn't it? Yeah. One, two, three, and one, two, three. All right, sweet. All I need to do now is control drag that up so that we get some food flown in. Come on, shuttles. Save this poor starving colonist. Uh, concrete. Look at this. We're up to 3K of concrete. Unbelievable. Because these two guys over here are fully upgraded and cranking out the concrete. So we're now making like 500 concrete per day. And that makes a huge, huge difference. Oh, look, look at the shuttles. Oh my God, the shuttles are going crazy. And there's tons of food appearing all over the place. Yeah, you don't need to bring that much food because like, we are going to make loads pretty soon. Just, just doing herbs. Um, leaf crops, cover crops, potatoes. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it doing blooming herbs. I think. So um, yeah. This is the sweetest story. Yeah, maybe maybe at some point we'll switch to wheat, but I'm just gonna get it doing herbs for now. I think it'll be fine. Oh, this is going to be this is going to be very green around here. And I have left spacing between each of these. So, um, what do I want? I want let's grab let's grab mega dome so that you can see. So you can see I've got I've got space in between the the dome and each of the farms, and there's then there's a space between each of the farms. So they're perfectly spaced, and the same over here. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we've got 57 starving colonists. Do you guess they're up here? Because I haven't done the food depots over here. So let's do the food depots over here because I think that kind of works. Uh, what do I want? I want storage, depots, food depots. Yeah, how do I do it? Oh, yeah. Flip that around. One, two, three. One, two, three. Come over this side. One, two, three. One, two, three, and the same. Oh, where's the door? One, two, three, and one, two, three. I tell you what, it's a good job I actually left some space because this was actually going to be closer. This was going to be touching this dome, and then I wouldn't have been able to do this. So thank God I changed that. Two, three, which is unusual because usually that's the kind of screw up that I don't foresee. But I was like, when I, when I was doing it, I was like, nah, I can't. Oh, just look at the arms. That is just so staggeringly cool. Okay, the food is coming in alarmingly quickly. And I haven't even set it to desired. Let's crank up the desired amount. And I am doing that with control. So it affects all of them. So if I click on one over here, it'll be set to 180 as well. All right, so there should be millions of shuttles going freaking crazy. Look at the shuttles over there. It's like a swarm of mosquitoes. But they'll be coming over here as well. And it's solving our food shortage over here very nicely. And some of these are, are fairly good already. So each one of these, once it's once it's fully, fully up and running, is going to produce how much? Let's go over here and find out. Is going to produce like 250 food. So, and that's 250 food every what? Does it even like, oh, it, that's 250 food every day. Oh my God, these produce crazy amounts of food. Wow. Okay, once this is up and running, I mean, 250, that means they'll feed 250 people. A day. So that's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. This will feed 4,000 people. Wow. 
So that's 4,000 people. Five, 6,000 people. I think I'm going to do some more of these... Um, Am I going to do some more? I might do some more of these anchor times. I might put like another one there and another one there and the same. So add in another four because that would then give me, uh, that's one thing. So that give me like 4,000 there. And then this is, is one, two, three, four. No, this is, hang on. This is two, 250 a day. Yeah, that's right. Uh, no, that, no, this is two, 250 food a day will feed um, how many people? Like 1,250. Oh my lord! 1,250, which means that this will feed like 10,000. This will feed like 20,000 people. Oh my god. That's like 20,000 food there. And this would be currently like 22, but I'll put another, I'll put another four of those in. That would get me up to like 24,000 food. And that's without any ranches or anything going on. Or any ag domes. Which means that I'd be able to rip out my ag domes potentially. Food is gonna go insane. Look, these are already filling in very, very nicely. And they're gonna expand. Um, I tell you what, before the end of the episode, let's at least get some rockets going. Because we've hit 100% water. Oh, hell yeah. So what do we want? We want... Um, sea vegetation. Yeah, do that. You, oh, you're doing that one. You can do a cloud seeding. Go and do that. Get some more rain. Improve the soil. And then up here, you can go do what? There's, there's got to be another. Uh, there's another cloud seeding. Oh, and there's another veg. Yeah, all right. So uh, you go and do that one. So that'll give us another 10%. That'll get us up to 90%. You go and do a... A cloud seeding. Boom. Alright, cool. I don't know. Maybe I should space those out. Should I space those out a bit? Rather than doing them... You know what? Uh, cancel that one. Which one's, which one's doing which? Yeah, that one's getting the seeds. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait for, for that one. Uh, we'll, we'll wait for it to rain and then I'll send it to go and do that one. Now, the so yeah, we're going to get the veg up by 10%. 90% we get... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, if I go up to planetary view, at 90% we get our third wild vegetation boom. Which would be very cool. And we're pretty darn green already. One thing I didn't mention in the last video, which I meant to mention, is that I've um, I've changed all of these forestation plants to, 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 to doing mixed trees now, rather than, um, rather than just trees, it's mixed trees. So you get, surprisingly enough, a mixture of trees. So rather than it just being fir trees, you get silver birch and different types of fir trees and, and, and that's about it. <laughs> I, I haven't seen anything else other than the different types of fir trees and the silver birch. So, but that's okay. It does give, it definitely, like with the silver birch, because the silver birch is like pretty thick over here, it definitely gives it a different look. And it is, it is very foresty. It's very cool, actually. I do like it. Um, but what I'm going to do in the centre here is, I think, again, I'm going to have, like, a lawn. This is all going to be grass in here. So if we go over to uh, this one, you can see that outside the bridges, uh, the bridges, outside of the passages, we've got trees all over the place. All right? But inside, no trees. It's all just grass. Well, it's probably a mixture of grass and li uh, and uh, lichens at the moment. Why don't I just say lichens? I'm not posh. Lichens. Posh people say lichens. Lichens, that's a bloom of wolf man as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, so um, I'm thinking we do similar kind of thing over here. Maybe make this a lawn. Now, I was thinking, well, what the hell can I put in here? And I was thinking, oh, I don't know, maybe I could put some little domes with some kids' playgrounds and stuff, so there's a plug up here, but I didn't like that idea. Um, the one thing I could throw in here, of course, would be, I could throw, like, a capital city in the middle, which kind of, like, which kind of centres this. 
uh, and makes it a little bit more impressive. So that's definitely an idea. If you like that idea, drop me a comment. Um, other than that, I don't know. I was also thinking of maybe throwing a capital city in there. And you know what? I, I've got to say, that one I really like the idea of. I really like that idea. Look at this. Uh, oh my god, we're, look at this. We're suddenly 10.3k people again. Uh, we've got room for another 1.6k. But I think, because I, I, I want to leave myself enough room that I can knock domes down and move people around and stuff. So I think at that point, we'll call it a day. Forbid all births in all domes. Woo! Um... I really don't need to be doing these trade deals anymore. You know what? I don't need to be doing these trade deals. So I'm not going to do them anymore. I'm going to say non and non. Uh, yeah, ah, hang on a second. The one thing I might want is metals. Because look at metals. Um, yeah, metals is, a little, is getting a little bit desperate. You know what? Let's do it. Let's say I'm going to export... See, I'm seriously thinking maybe polymers. You know what? Let's offer polymers for metals. See how that goes down. Polymers for metals. Oh, 73 metals. Hell yes. Accept. And 70 metals for 50 polymers. Yes. Accept. Now, polymers are essentially free. Um, and I want to, yeah, it's fine. I, I was going to explain something, but I don't think it really needs explaining. Polymers are essentially free because they're just made from um, water and, um, yeah, um, what is it, water? Uh, it's just made from water, isn't it? Yeah, it's just power and water. And, and since we're getting all of our water from evaporators, like, it's basically free. Uh, we're down, you know what, we're down to 33 spare water. So I think it's about time, control click, upgrade the hygroscopic coatings, and upgrade the vector pumps as well. Oh my god, that is going to sink a load of polymers. Now, I've got, um, I've had to turn off a couple of polymer factories and get rid of them. Oh, one there, because it, because I wanted to move these bridges. So uh, there was one there, and... Uh, there was one, I don't know. Oh, yeah. And there was one over there because it mirrored that one. But I think what we're going to do in the next episode is investigate using uh, another of Silver's mods. Where are we? Production. We go into additional buildings. These automated factories. Oh, yeah. Automated polymer factory. Doesn't require any people. And they're very small. But they don't produce that much, so you've got to put in quite a lot of them. But you can put them in in kind of like big blocks. So I think we'll play around with that. Maybe maybe we can get some interesting designs out of that. And I think for the next episode, we can start ripping out some of these domes around this centerpiece. But I need to I need to kind of decide. Well, how am I going to link this out kind of to the rest of the world? And I was thinking, I don't know. Maybe you have like diamond domes that link outwards or something. If you got any clever ideas about that? Drop me, uh, drop me a, drop me a comment. It's raining! Hooray! So we can, oh, and we get a new cloud seeding project as well. We've got some more metals coming in. Let's accept that. So we do have a bit of metal coming in now. That's very good. But what I need to do is, uh, is have a look around the map and see. We do have some metals that we can get. Like there's, there's this one out there. It's only it's like 600. There's one. Ah, there's one down here. What's that one? That's... Ah, that's only 500. Ah, this one's 1500. That's more like it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the... Another of Silver's mods. The automated... Uh, the automated... Where is it? Automated metals extractor. Uh, and we'll hook up some automated metal extractors and start getting some more metal coming in. Which would be a good thing. But I think, kind of longer term... I think we need another mohole. Or two. Oh, you know what? that's what's causing the problem the mohole is not producing any metal why because it's we have filled up the rare metals okay so let's solve the problem short term by popping in a couple of rare metals depots uh, rare metals 
So uh, let's do rare metals there and rare metals there. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to put in a second one as well on each side. Okay, so at least this is producing metals now, so that's good. 125 a day. Yeah, I, I seriously think I could do with a second one. God knows where I'm going to put it, though. Um, I don't know. I, maybe I'll do something up here. I should... You know, if I'm going to do this up here, where I'm producing some um, some waste rock, at the moment it's all getting shipped out. And it's all getting consumed at the moment. But maybe I should move the, the concrete factories, these, uh, these waste rock processors, up there. That would, that would make some sense. Where would I put the molehole? Again, if you've got an idea about where I should put the molehole, uh, let me take these metals so that we don't completely run out. Um, I think there's a few things to comment on. Seriously, how, look, these, that is, I think that is completely full now. And I'm just going to leave it. Like, look at those arms. How, seriously, how cool is that? Oh, that was, a, that's a massive unexpected bonus. Love the way those arms move around. It does look like a kind of a beetle or a spider or something, doesn't it? I love it. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back for more. I'll try and come up with some other cool ideas. Catch you for the next one. Peace out.